in band football because the soldiers weren't training with the English longbow. Hundreds of years ago, you be the poor people, the peasants. Who's like to be the knights, the leaders? And you've got two here. And in any battle, where are the leaders? Where's the third, third one up there? They were at the back, the safest. There was no standing army as such. You know how we have an army and air force today? The only army was the poor people that worked on the knights and the lords' lands. That was the army. So when the king said, right, we're going to invade France, he got his knights and his lords and he's brought his soldiers with them and the English longbow. Very effective killing weapon. 1415, Battle of Agincourt in France, an army of 5,000 Englishmen defeated an army of 25,000 French knights because of the English longbow. This is an authentic English longbow. It's got a pulling power of 20 to 25 pounds, can fire an arrow, and these are the arrows that will fire. And you have to excuse my Yorkshire dialect. In fire, but again, you don't see fire because fire relates to guns. It's actually loose. Have you seen Mel Gibson? Yeah. Brave Well, that's the time I'm talking about. Tommy. Okay. Wasn't that? It was actually uh, the English against the Scots. But I'll tell you about the uh, World Wars if I get a chance. So. What do you think, how many arrows do you think an English longbow man be able to fire these per minute? Minimum of 12 per minute. So work it out yourself. 5,000 archers, 12 a minute. How many arrows in a minute? Call it 10 a minute. 50,000 arrows in the sky in a minute. Range, what do you think the range would be? How was this length? Give us some idea. Uh, 100. Yards. 100. Killing range of 200 to 250 meters. Because of the English longbow. That would be at the end, at the bottom of the high street. You won't be able to say that. And you know, I said about words today come from history. That is the knock. You string the bow, it goes on the knock. At the end of the battle, it's time to knock off. Fire. Go for a cup of... By the French, the best thing they could do was to yeah. chop off these two fingers of the English longbow. Well. Because he uses these to fire the arrows. So he can't fire the arrows. So in the battles with the French, basically what happens, the French are lined up there, the English are lined up, and the English longbowmen are basically ready to give it to the Frenchmen. So what are the English going to do to the Frenchmen? We've got our fingers and we're going to sort you out. And that's where that sign originates from. I'll just have that. Okay. I've been educated. So imagine range. 200 to 250 meters killing range. And these are the sum of the arrows. That means they're not easy. need to push it just back back. Just give us some space. Well, imagine I can do that. Here's a sharp. Now imagine this is just for display purposes. This is called the swallowtail broadhead. Designed for one thing and one thing alone is killing and injuring. Right? Look at the barbs. What happens when it goes in? Can't pull it out because if a projectile goes in your body, the muscles contract around it to stop the blood flow. Now then, nice and clean that. But in the battles, us in Robin Hood, where does he have the arrows? Not in real war. What the archers do, they line up, and because they're so effective, they've been training since the age of six, they have them all stuck in the ground. So all they have to do, because if you've got a chance of a sniper's rifle with one bullet a minute, or a machine gun, which are you going to prefer? And an army's charging at you. Machine gun. Well, medieval longbowmen were the machine guns of the medieval time, because they had, had the arrows all lined up. All they had to do, bend down, 
let loose, bend down, let loose, minimum of 12 per minute of these. Killing range 200 and 250 meters. It goes in your body. How are you going to get it out? So what are you going to do? Chop it. Spot on there. The only one way to do is to actually push it right through your body because of the shape. But don't forget, it's in the soil. Animals have been crapping on the floor. It's soil, it's dirty. So if the arrow doesn't kill you, pushing it through doesn't kill you, the soil will cause infection. Plus of course, but they also, if you had a chance, they put a natural plant poison on the tip, so that went in your body as well. I'll show you. Right, tell you a story. Battle of Agincourt, there was this Frenchman, French knight, he thought he was a bee's knees. We've seen him prancing around. They think they know everything. Well, he was on his horse. He came through the first flight of arrows. As he was approaching the English lines, one of these arrows came. It's called a bodkin, needle, razor sharp. It actually went and threw his thigh into the side of the horse, because it was on a horse. The horse reared up. Another arrow came in the other side. He was riding around the battlefield. This would be used for killing rabbits. Small one for rabbits. One last one. This is an actual... It's in the English longbow. What do you think this would be used for? The other type of... Shaped like a gun. Crossbow bolt. And this is for this, the short range. They had a pulling power to two to three hundred pounds. This would go through armour like a knife through hot butter. Do you think you lot would have armour? No. Who's going to like to have the armour? The lords, the rich people. Hey. Battle of Agin. One battle, Battle of Agincourt. The French. A lot of knights were laid on the floor, injured, not dying. And the king said, right, I don't want any survivors. I want all these knights killing. Now the knights there, they're gentlemen, so they, the English knights, won't do it. So who's going to do it? Bear in mind, these French knights are there. They've got rings on the fingers. They've got money in the pockets. The lords, the knights aren't going to do it. They're gentlemen. Who's going to do all the killing? All you lot, the poor people, because you don't get paid. There's all this money in their pockets. You're going to get it, aren't you? And that's what it's all about. The poor people have no money, but that's Sorry. why they went on wars. Where's that one from? So, yeah. Where's that one from? Where do you find that? So that looks, I don't know who that one is, but uh, you've got yourself uh, a memento of Skipton Castle. <laughs> right, okay, we're going to go in the castle now. <laughs> so you're on a full storm. Arrows are coming on you. You'd lose 300 of your men just getting to the front doors. 700 of you left, and you've got the outer barrier. Human excrement, pee, whatever, parts of dead bodies, anything will be falling on you. Arrow slits either side, massive pork cullis down here, so the soldier on the inside, defending it, will be able to ram spears into your stomachs or anything that was available to them. Why spiral? Just go wrong. Why going round? It's harder to get up. Yes, harder to get up. Defenders have the advantage. Hundreds of years ago, you trained with your sword in your right hand. Spiral staircase, you don't know what's around the corner. I would like to be the first person attacking up a spiral staircase in medieval castle because the defenders have the advantage. We are now going up to the first floor and then going up to the second floor. So if someone wanted the other. Oh my god. Get up. Please. Oh, it's the wind. Jamie? Think how we can Right. Lady Anne Clifford. Let me see. The Cliffords held this castle for 350 years. Lady Anne Clifford was the last Clifford to basically live. She was here at the Civil War. Have you heard of Oliver, Cromwell? Oliver Cromwell? Yeah. Well, basically, Oliver Cromwell had an argument with the king. Had a coconut. This castle was under siege for three years. We supported King Charles I. The king. 
think of water coming off the roofs and drain pipes. The top of drain pipes. AP, any? Well done. In the blue again. AP at the top of that one. And in this corner there. AP. And AP, Cass, Pendle, and 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 Pendle, and